So I was watching a coal cracker video about uh, making blanket pins and vines. You had to do something in a pinch. This is just a ring part. And uh, so I'm messing around with it a little bit. I have lots of vines there. So I will get it cracked, maybe not right this minute, but uh, it will work. And I got some Kevlar string, looks like natural string here. Use your pocket knife or whatever. I just happen to have the clickers or, or clippers or pruning shears here because I'm here at home. So, so this kind of broke. Let's see how this one is. So it works good, but needs to be longer. I don't think it's big enough. But uh, gotta make it bigger. Got plenty of stuff to work with here. So I have to find the right piece. So we're gonna start with this. I should bend it a little bit first, just to loosen it up. This looks like it might work. I want to intertwine it a little better. Uh, let's see here. Kind of broke a little bit, but it might be good enough. So you gotta twist it like that. So I'm gonna put a little uh, on my pocket knife, huh? Henry pocket knife. Let's take a little bit of this Kevlar. Looks like natural stuff, but it's Kevlar. Oh no, uh, this is, uh, sorry, this is not uh, Kevlar, this one. I do have Kevlar too. Um, this is hemp. Kind of doing this on the fly. Let's see here. Yeah. Basically, I should just tie a simple knot to secure it temporarily. I'll leave it on. Either way. Fix it up after. Just gonna tie this together. You can also use the material you're working with to secure it a little better if you want, or naturally, or any natural cordage. But so if you, know, I'm walk, walking in the back of the side of the house here, and I said. What the hell? I got this stuff right here, man. You know. But, uh, make a quick and dirty thing here. And I think that's all I'm going to do is just tie a knot. Oops. Dirt thing here. I'm tie another knot here. Just wrap this around. See what I got here. So 
So if you got your blanket, you can just make a quick pin and all you need is a piece of twig or something to sharpen it up. And uh, But what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna let it dry. Might even put linseed oil on it eventually. I'll make a bunch of them that look a lot nicer at some point. But I just wanted to try this with Cole Cracker was doing there. It seems like it, it works. And a pinch if you need a blanket pin. It's a quick and dirty one right here. So you just put your your blanket. Let's get your pin. Get your blanket. Run it up like this. I don't know if you can see it. Run your pin through there. Get a blanket pin. And this is just on the fly. Quick and dirty. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to shut this camera off. I'm going to make more and uh, leave them aside, trim them up after, make them look a little nicer. And uh, should be all right. But uh, better when they're green, though. I mean, some of these are green and some are not. But uh, there's enough materials to work with here. So, but uh, yeah, because it's late winter here. But. Just put your pin across there. You know, material comes up through here. Put your pin across. Got a little blanket pin. So it's going to have fair rod. I'm going to stay out here and work with all these lines and things and make a couple of these, put them aside, and let them dry, maybe put some linseed oil on them. And uh, that's how it works out. I don't know if they'll crumble when they dry. I, I don't know. But it works good when it's green. So, and I can even take like a, you know, a little shard of wood, just stuff from my spoons, you know. Can, uh, Best with a nice piece of green wood. I could split this down a little bit. Yeah, I got the pocket knife here. You can't see it, huh? Well, anyways, I'm going to take the pocket knife and just split this little piece of shard of wood here. how I split it. Take this off. I'm not sure what actual material this is. But, uh, might not be strong enough. It doesn't look too strong. Ah, dropped it. Oh, where's the bloody thing? There it is. You get the main idea. Keep dropping it. Don't be crazy here. But you need a stronger piece of wood. But you can, uh, you can stick it right through. See how it sticks right through the, the wall there? See it right there. You can make a blanket pin. This is just a small one, it's a little too small. But uh got the main idea. So it's funny as my fair rod. Peace, freedom. And uh we'll uh we'll make some more of these. <clears throat> 
So I just uh, whittled a little, little blank of, you know, the actual <clears throat> pin for this here. And then this one I happened to find and I This was strong. This needs to dry a little bit. It's still pretty strong. But, uh, yeah. So I got the pins. <clears throat> a little primitive on the fly. And they could be really wrapped up nice and fixed up and changed. Whatever. I actually did baton the wood with this. A small little, this very small little piece, but uh, yeah. It's best to just get a nice round piece of wood. These are, this is a, it was round, but I, uh, I had to baton it to make it smaller. So it's best to, like this one I just found it's nice and round, you see. That's not, and I made a point on it, and that's kind of better. It is better, I think. But you could do it with, you know, pieces of wood here. <clears throat> and if, if you look at blanket pins, they're not real. The pin itself is usually not thin, but very sharp at the end. So, but I do want to round it off. This is fine for real wool, you know. But, see vines, you need a blanket pin, and uh, you can use it. I'm gonna leave one in, well, could put a point on both of them, but uh, I have to. Basically want to do it down here though. I'll let these dry out, but I want to wrap those other ones up more, eventually really wrap them up nice. And if you had a piece of duct tape or something, perfect. You know, this doesn't have to be, uh, just has to be functional, whatever you got. This piece was kind of like a little doll I had out here. So. Put a little point on this end. And this one's a little softer. So let's see how it goes. Goes right through, you see? See how it goes through the wall. So leave it like that. Make a couple of these up. I'll probably make another one up because I'm going to make some more rings. So <clears throat> I just want to show you this too. But uh, yeah, I'll let these dry out. Um, like on this one, the, the ends should really be. I could tuck it under. Yeah, like that. I'll tie it off more. This one actually. Even though it was thicker, it was a lot more flexible and easier to work with. So, um, that's nice. But when it dries, it'll get hard and then I'll do something with it, maybe dress it up a little bit. But on the fly, you got a functional blanket pin if you need it. So, there you go. But I'm gonna make <clears throat> some more of these. There you go. You take care.